Hey guys, welcome back to my garden. We got an update over here for you with the mini bell tomato plant. This is a dwarf sized tomato plant. It's going to be really small. It just should be like under a foot tall. Uh, right now it's really small. This is basically, um, you can see right over here it's flowering right now. And the buds are beginning to grow and get nice and large. And the trichomes are looking, developing nicely. It's looking nice and beautiful. Look at all these tiny little microscopic hairs that are all over the place. It looks absolutely phenomenal to me. And this thing is a determinant tomato plant, so it's only going to be uh, like a 65 day, uh, I believe, harvest. So it should be like, from the time it's flowering, it should be hopefully 65 days that you get some fruit. And you can see right here, it's only 2 to 3 inches tall, so it's really small. And you can see that the root system is developing nicely in this ebb and flow kit that I put together. And this was just a simple ebb and flow kit that I've been meaning to cover up um, so algae doesn't grow. Um, so I, I ordered actually some tape to cover it up, so hopefully that comes really soon and we can take care of that problem. And in the meantime, you can see right here the plant is doing nicely. And look at this beautiful close-up for you guys. So you see a couple of days later the plant has grown quite a bit. And I think it's really enjoying the system over here. It seems like a lot of plants are, are growing really well in, in this ebb and flow kit. I'm able to just kind of throw plants in and out. You can kind of see in the background right there, there's um, some pak choy growing in microgreen style. And that's growing in nicely. We're going to do an update on that soon. But in the meantime, this tomato plant is doing really nice, I think. And you can see basically that the leaves are doing really well. And the plant overall looks really healthy, I think, guys. So I'm really happy with, with the overall growth of it right now. I do have a comparison plant that's the planted the same seed at the same time. They were germinated at the same time. However, they, they're both complete different sizes. And I'll show you that guys a little bit later in the video. It's going to be down below. Uh, so right here, you can see that the flower buds are beginning to grow in. And I'm noticing that everywhere where there's like a little sucker that's kind of growing, there's uh, new flowers that are beginning to grow in from it really quickly. Normally, you would have to wait like um, at least like, you know, a month before you see flowers kind of starting to come in real quickly but with this plant i don't know it just seems to be developing so fast for some reason and i changed actually the way that i'm watering this up ebb and flow kit i noticed uh when i just simply water it like one to two times a day the plants seem to actually really love it for some reason and it kind of acts as sort of like a kratky system slash ebb and flow deep water culture system sort of so it's kind of mixing between but it seems to be doing really well, I think, guys. Like, when I turn off the, the ebb and flow kit, the water drains really low. There's a small little reservoir that's kind of left at the bottom. And the roots seem to be really enjoying it. And there's a ton of moisture and condensation that builds up on the inside there. Especially from the heat and it's be it being like a plastic container. It, it is a food safe grade container, so, you know, that shouldn't be much of a problem. I do overall want to use kind of like glass containers if, if possible. I may look into that in the future, see if I could find like maybe like a glass container that I can like drill in and create that into an ebb and flow kit instead. That'd be ideal for, of course, but. And you can see over here basically the plant is doing really well, guys. So looking at it up close, it, you could see that the buds are beginning to open up a little bit larger. And I don't know what the flowers look like. I'm still um, waiting to see what it looks like. When flowers, um, when the tomato plant is growing indoors, especially, you want to make sure that you kind of give it a little bit of a shake or like a little wiggle. And you could even shake the whole plant if you wanted to, just to make sure that uh, the flowers pollinate. Being that it's not growing outside, it's not, you know, it doesn't have like bees or bugs that are pollinating it and other pollinators out there as well as the wind blowing and shaking it. I do have a fan that's blowing and cooling things down as well, but who knows, you don't, you want to be able to grow in, you know, as most, all the flowers as possible, you don't want to lose any. And looking at a close-up looks nice and beautiful. So let me show you guys what the other plant looks like down below. You can see it looks really big in comparison. Let me show you guys one more time. Look at this baby plant. And this is the, the same variety. They're just be, being grown both completely two different ways. And one, you, you can see this one is seven inches by, looks like, what do we have here? Six inches tall. And we basically got like a seven by, like a seven by seven, pretty much. So you see the plant is doing really well. The mother plant that's down below, not the mother plant, I'm sorry. The, the other plant that's down below, it's actually like 
already like over a foot tall, maybe like like a f couple of 14 inches, 15 inches, something like that, I believe last time I measured. And you can see the suckers over here are growing in nicely. I'm excited to actually uh, pull some of those off and get those to, to sprout some some roots so I could, I could transplant those into its own system. And I noticed this first leaf over here, the, the bottom here is beginning to put on some signs of stress a little bit. Overall, the leaves look really good. It looks like just like one or two leaves are looking a little stressed over here. But this plant seems to be doing really well. You can see the other ones up top are really green, really healthy looking. And overall, the plant looks really good, I think. So I'm really excited to see how this plant d develops and, you know, a little bit further on down the line. And I'm excited to show you guys how things look. So in the meantime, if you guys liked the episode, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up. That helps me out greatly. And if you have any questions or comments, please post that down below. I always do my best to try to respond to you guys. And if you have any questions, I mean, or actually not questions. I mean, if you have any suggestions, that's what I meant to say. Uh, for upcoming videos, let me know down below what you guys want to see. As always, thanks for watching. We'll be back soon.